There are many folks who want to be the star, to be the hero. Yah, however, is looking to raise up an army. Hi, this is Barry Fields with 10 Minute Torah, day one of the Torah portion of Vieki. And we are in Bereshit chapter 47, beginning with verse 28, which reads, and Yaakov lived in the land of Mitzrayim 17 years, so the length of Yaakov's life was 147 years. And the time for Israel to die drew near, and he called his son Yosef and said to him, Now if I have found favor in your eyes, please put your hand under my thigh and show loving commitment and truth to me. Please do not bury me in Mitzrayim. But I shall lie with my fathers, and you shall take me up out of Mitzrayim and bury me in their burial places. And he said, I shall do as you have said. And he said, Swear to me. And he swore to him, and Israel bowed himself on the head of of the bed. The Eki is a very important uh, Torah portion, especially for me. It's the one that I was born under. So there's a lot of things that are stated here that I take um, I take very personal importance to. Something that I'm seeing here that I find very interesting is that it says in verse 29 that it is time for Israel to die. Uh, this man, Yaakov, also called Israel, he is a two-part person, more so perhaps than the rest of us. We're all made of the dust of the earth, and therefore we're fleshly, we're earthly, we're physical, but we're animated and given life by that which is the breath of our Creator. Therefore, inwardly, we are spiritual. We have a unique standing upon this planet. We are grounded onto the physical realm, uh, gravity pulling us and connecting us to the soil of the earth, that we experience life in the physical realm, in the earth, and by all the things going on in our environment. However, with our spirit, we cry out to he who is in the heavens, and we make a vital connection with him. So it is in the vehicle and the functionality of mankind that we carry the need the urgency the the pains of the earth and we vocalize them and lift them up into the heavens by our spirit making a vital connection with our creator yahweh our elohim through yeshua our messiah this man israel yaakov is carrying a double identity. Yaakov is indeed the man of the earth. But there is a compound nature or identity for him. He is also called Israel. And as such, he is the covenant man. So Yaakov is the natural man living in the physical world. Israel refers to the spiritual man who wrestles with the spiritual elements and he connects to a higher realm. Now, which one is dying? The one who connects to the higher realm. We would rather read that Yaakov, the physical man, was dying. That's true. But with him is the singularity of this double identity. Now, what do I mean by that? Yaakov, as the double-named uh, man, he, as Israel, he carried this particular spiritual standing. It's dying with him and that generation as it was carried in previous generations as well. From this point on, the nature of Israel, the ability to wrestle with the heavenly realm to prevail and to have connection by covenant to the higher realm and righteousness is going to be spread abroad, not upon a particular next generation individual, Yehuda or Yosef, but rather by the family who will become then a nation. The goal here is that not one person would carry the, the identity of hero or star, but rather that we're building a nation, an army, a team, 
a community. In previous congregational standings, it was the guy up front um, preaching behind a pulpit, carrying a title of some sort, elder or pastor or reverend, whatever would be the case, they were the one that the spotlight shone on the most. But Yah is not looking just to facilitate the calling of a pastor or a shepherd, uh, not even just evangelists and, and prophets and apostles. All of these ministry gifts are vital and necessary, but vital and necessary for who? Without a flock, without a, a group or a, 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 a gathering of people, uh, it is through these fivefold ministry gifts that we read about, as, as they are in operation, we build the house of Elohim. So there's a vital importance that there is that, that there are people involved that people are being encouraged and built up and edified and that people are equipped also with giftings. Giftings that we read about in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, power gifts, vocal gifts, healing gifts, ministry gifts. These things are important. They have to be under the authority of some leadership, yes, but leadership doesn't complete the whole agenda it takes all of us together and the book of Yochanan or John chapter number 12 and verse number 24 we read this Yeshua speaking says truly truly I say to you unless a grain of wheat falls on the ground and dies it remains alone but if it dies it bears much fruit Yaakov also known as Israel, is getting ready to die. But the fruit and, and the continuing of his lineage and his legacy is that there is now a family that's going to carry the identity as Israel, a nation. And Yochanan, John chapter 16, verse 7 reads this way. But I say the truth to you, it is better for you that I go away, for if I do not go away, the helper shall not come to you at all, but if I go, I shall send him to you. Yeshua is saying to us, it's better that I ascend and return to the Father that he send to you the Ruach Kodesh, who will not be just upon one person, but upon you all. And that the same anointing that I walk in and minister in and speak under will be in and on you and you all will continue my ministry. In the book of Acts, chapter number one, and, uh, and in verse number eight, we read this. But you shall receive power when the set-apart spirit is coming upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, or Jerusalem, and in all Yehuda and Shemarion, and to the end of the earth. Yehuda and Shemarion is what is currently politically called, and may I say erroneously called, the West Bank as Judea Samaria. And so they were to start in Jerusalem, spiral outward into that second region, and then throughout the earth. And that, that work is still being completed to this day. But what about our heroes? I just like it when there's a guy or a lady up front that's doing the work. I just really prefer that we have someone with authority. <laughs> in the book of Numbers, chapter number 11, it says in verse 24 and following, And Moshe went out and spoke to the people the words of Yahweh, and he gathered the 70 uh, elders of the people and placed them around the tent. And Yahweh came down in the cloud and spoke to him, and took of the spirit that was upon him and placed the same upon the 70 elders. And it came to be when the spirit rested upon them that they prophesied but did not continue. And two men, Eldad and Medad, were in the camp. They were not present and they were prophesying. Yehoshua says, stop them. They're, they're ruining your reputation, Moshe. I would that they all be prophets, he said. Yah wants to make a hero and a star out of you. It's a part of the army. 
Be ready to sign up, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Then, shalom. Mm-hmm.